Durdle Door is one of Dorset's best-loved landmarks. This great arch of Portland limestone appears on a million postcards. Seen close up, its sheer majesty is breathtaking, whether on a summer's day with the sea sparkling below or in stormy winter when furious waves pan the shore. East of Durdle Door lies Lulworth Cove, a perfect crescent of white pebbles enclosing an aquamarine bay. These two incredible features are part of the Jurassic Coast, England's first natural world heritage site. Here at Lulworth, the tilt of the rocks creates a unique walkway through time, dating back 150 million years. The Lulworth Crumple is a textbook example of how over this enormous time span, rocks were laid down horizontally before being raised, tilted and folded by powerful movements of the Earth's crust. Further along the coast lie the remains of a fossil forest. These holes in the rock are the fossilised remains of algae which grew around prehistoric tree trunks. Over time, the massive power of the sea and weather has eroded the cliffs, forming bays, coves, caves and arches. Large parts of the coast are made of chalk, this makes the downland on top of the cliffs particularly rich in wildlife. Chalk downland supports more plant species than any other habitat. The downland you see today was created by farming. 10,000 years ago, all of this was covered in dense forest. Then people arrived, gradually felled the trees and created terraces in the hillside to grow food. They took good care of their dead and built defences against neighbouring tribes. Throughout medieval times, farming and fishing remained the main economy. In 1641, the Weld family bought Lulworth Castle and land including five miles of coastline. Nearly 400 years on, the same family still owns Lulworth today. The castle is well worth a visit. Built in the early 17th century as a hunting lodge to entice King James I, it was once one of England's loveliest stately homes. In 1929, a disastrous fire destroyed the interior. The building was consolidated and finally reopened to the public in 1998. Lowworth Castle was originally built as a place of entertainment, and so it is again today. Throughout the year, the castle hosts a programme of events and shows and provides a marvellous setting for special functions, including weddings. Many couples choose to celebrate this special day here. All ages can enjoy a great day out. The animal farm is especially popular with children who can also let off steam in the adventure play area. It's also ideal for corporate events such as clay pigeon shooting, team building exercises and 4x4 driving. Most of the Lowworth estate is open to the public. We work hard to balance the needs of responsible tourism, conservation and agriculture. The aim is to protect and sustain this valuable environment for the enjoyment of those who live and work here, for visitors and for future generations. Your car parking fee today will help fund conservation work, such as the Grasslands project at the Five Marys. Here the estate is using a herd of Exmoor ponies to graze back scrub and restore the species-rich chalk grassland. Some of the work we are doing now will take years to complete, but we think it's essential to invest in the future. Every year, hundreds of children visit the Heritage Centre as part of its education programme for schools. These young people are our future, and it's important that they learn how to value and care for our natural environment. There's always a lot of work to do in maintaining and improving access for all. Replacing stiles with gates is one way to make it easier for everyone to enjoy Lulworth. 
and the estate has produced its own network of permissive paths, opening up a range of wonderful walks. After a long ramble, the Weld Arms outside the castle gates is a very good place to refresh tired legs. We want everyone to enjoy this lovely place now and in the future. If you are tempted to stay longer, several of the estate cottages are available for holiday lets, and there's also the holiday park at Durdle Door. Please ask for details at the information desk. Thank you for helping to protect this marvellous area. We hope you're enjoying your visit today, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs>